Hey, fellow bookworms. Welcome back to Didata Books, the ultimate destination for book and manga enthusiasts. I'm Raz, your guide through the literary universe. Today we're diving into the realm of Death Note, exploring its manga brilliance and its adaptation journey. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our bookish explorations. First things first, let's talk about the masterpiece itself, the Death Note manga. Created by Tsugumi Oba and Takeshi Obata, this psychological thriller follows the story of Light Yagami and his deadly encounters with the mysterious Death Note. Now, what makes the manga a must-read? First and most noticeably thing is complex characters. The depth and complexity of characters like Light Yagami and L contribute to the gripping narrative, making it a thrilling read. Mind Games Death Note is a mind-bending experience filled with strategic battles between the protagonist and his adversaries. Last but not least, Artistry Takeshi Obata's artwork is simply stunning, capturing the intensity and emotions of the characters. To make the world, to make people better, and I'm not afraid to use it. Now, let's shift gears to the adaptations. Death Note has seen various adaptations, including anime, live action films, and even a Netflix series. <laughs> How well do these adaptations hold up? Let's find out. Anime Excellence The anime adaptation closely follows the manga, preserving the essence of the story and the psychological depth of the characters. Live Action Films While the Japanese live action films capture the essence well, the reception of the Netflix adaptation was mixed, with some fans expressing disappointment. Divergence from the manga One drawback is that certain adaptations take creative liberties deviating from the original storyline, which create multiple understanding from people who are not aware of the manga existence. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Death Note's various adaptations? Do you prefer the manga, anime, or one of the live-action versions? Drop your comments below, and let's spark a bookish conversation. That's a wrap on our Death Note exploration here at Dedita Books. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow bookworms, and of course, subscribe for more literary adventures. Until next time, this is Raz signing off.